thing is when couples come in and they haven't had in a year. And I asked why, and she looks at him and says, because he hasn't asked. And he says, well, I kind of hint it, and you just never seemed interested. And she says, well, when is the last time you spent time with me? Well, why do I spend time with you if you're not having sex with me? And that right there is exactly what you do. So why do you think the abuse that the woman specializes in? Out of all three. Mental and emotional. Out of, okay, out of mental and emotional, which one do you think they do? Out of most. That's a hard one. Let me think about that. I think, I think mental and emotional tie both them together because once you fuck with the mental, they're going to fuck with the emotions. You know what I'm saying? Once you fuck with the mental, you're going to fuck with the emotions because emotions is the frequency. You know what I'm saying? So once they start to hit your head, hit your head, hit your head, if you ain't a strong enough man to either walk away from it or put it in her place, then you, that shit's going to start fucking with your emotions. You start off on the right foot being who you are. You want to end on the right foot regardless if she think Regardless if your personality and her personality don't add up, truth is truth. You know what I'm saying? And that you can't, you know what I mean? You just shouldn't disguise the truth. Now, I'm going to be me. If you don't like who I am, that's good. We should get that out from the first time. My favorite thing is when couples come in and they haven't had in a year. And I ask why, and she looks at him and says, because he hasn't asked. And he says, well, I kind of hinted and you just never seemed interested. And she says, well, when is the last time you spent time with me? Well, why do I spend time with you if you're not having with me and that right there is exactly the situation. women after one year that drive switches from bonding with you mode to long-term stability and mate retention if you have given her the adequate emotional bonding her sex drive will go way up because her brain says keep this man around and have as many of his babies as i can i've worked with couples in their 60s they come in having very little and they leave after a few sessions having three or four or five times a week because they improve their actual emotional intimacy, which leads to better non-sexual physical intimacy, which then leads overwhelmingly to sexual physical intimacy. Fact, because all of it starts mentally. And I also say that oh, that, that would definitely give a good but definitely give it to the woman. And more of fact, we just think you know, it's on these emotional side so she'll be getting turned on. But it's, this is a woman, she's Coach Michelle. Cumberbatch, and I mean she's a sex coach and she's talking about the many sex Ladies, coaches. understand, we feel secure in love when we have security of our spouse providing or taking care of protecting us. When he says he loves you, you are feeling love. When he helps you in the kitchen, you feel love. Love is expressed in so many ways for you, but for a man, it's very limited. He doesn't want sex. He needs sex. He mm -hmm. wants sex. He mm -hmm. needs sex. Sure. That's just how God designed him. Facts. And I know just why flash. <laughs> sex is very, very important in a relationship. It brings you together like nothing else. Ladies, understand. Yeah, that's because that's, 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 that's why she only that's why you should do with somebody that you're truly in love with. But okay now, how important is sex in a relationship? And I'm touching on this is sex by the way, and I'm touching it. Sex is very important. They said, many said, men don't want sex, we need sex. It's definitely true. And my brother John brought up a good point. And then just, I'm gonna touch it first and let you go on. My brother John brought up a good point about that. He said that it's like, first of all, in, I looked this in health class, if a guy don't bust regular nuts, you get testicular cancer. It clots up your prostate. It clots up your prostate. Yeah, prostate It's a tons of health problems. So that's that one of the reasons problems. that you, your body's urgent. Two, if you don't do it, you will literally get sexually, I mean, sexual frustrated. Your balls start hurting. It becomes too full. You will have wet dreams. And also, I believe that you meant to, um, we have to, we men need it because you meant to populate the earth. We have to have that drive and that urge that, that, that's to plant the seed. Now what I mean like to probably the reason the why you're getting that urge. So, but and, and that biological urge may, may have changed back in the days because we may be overpopulated now, but that shit's never changed. No, like, it's never changed. It never went away from millions now. of years ago. Remember it's like, never went nowhere. So you you'll notice that urge always come around the same time a, a woman's going through her period. But how important is the sex and relation that let you go to simplify it? And a relationship is important for men is super duper 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 important. Not that like, we have other things we need to, but like a man again no ass. And what I also agitates in the first days, man, what the fuck you think? 99% of the men, everybody's in a, in, in a toxic relationship, everybody's in a long distance relationship, everybody's in a healthy relationship, everything. When that man came up to you, he wanted ass. That's a fact. First, no man go to that. I want to make her my wife. That's that's a small percentage, bro. Mm -mm. You think I'll beat and then show him how you know oh, this bitch got a lot of common with me. Y'all stop vibing and then it, become the best boyfriend. Because, but you also want to beat. That's the first thing you want to do. Because I because because. Without you knowing, if you're not in complete control of himself, right? The basic, um, your basic um, natural instinct kicks in, 
from and you're going to you go right back to Taylor mode, and that's going to be animal instincts. Oh, um, I need to I need to um populate with her. Yeah. So why do you think the why do you think the abuse that the woman specializes? Out of all three, mental and emotional. Out of okay, out of mental and emotional, which one do you think they do? Out of most. That's a hard one. Let me think about that. I think I think mental and emotional tie both them together because once you fuck with the mental, yeah. you're gonna fuck with the emotions. You know what I'm saying? Once you fuck with the mental, you're gonna fuck with the emotions because emotions is the frequency. You know what I'm saying? So once they start to hit your head, hit your head, hit your head, if you ain't a strong enough man to either walk away from it or put it in her place, then you that shit's gonna start fucking with you emotionally. You won't either start feeling insecure within yourself, weak, not the same man that you feel that you was before. If you don't know yourself, you know what I'm saying. So I think they specialize in both very well. I think that masses can one be abused as fuck. Yes, and one could argue that if you're talking about abuse in a whole scale, when it happens with men, it's more extreme because it's physical. physical. Sometimes it be mental and emotional physical, as well. It's physical because it's, it's, it's a it, mental and emotional physical, problem. Yeah. It's, it's usually physical beating on them, restraining them from right. doing things, rape, all this crazy man shit. But one could argue that... Um, mental and emotional abuse is just as bad. It's just as bad, obviously. But one could argue that it's more frequent with women in an everyday relationship. That they yeah, when they abuse, speak to you. That they mentally they and emotionally abuse their men. Right. That's guaranteed. You, it's, what, every, it's every so often you see a nigga beating on his girl. But... And a lot of relationships, a woman is... be happy, bitch, you're unhappy. You come and smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah, shit brings yeah, your whole fucking yeah, spirit down. And guarantee they know what the fuck they doing. Guarantee. You know what I'm saying? Guarantee. Yeah, that shit is good. Guarantee. They know what they doing. They intentionally doing that. They trying to draw your energy away. Nigga, you ain't going to be uh, happy because I'm not happy. You call me not happy. Yeah, I'm there. Oh, yeah. Shit is real. You know what I mean? Like, yes, women can be abusers and they specialize. They are honest and mental and emotional abuse. I agree. Because they can't fucking beat you they up. They can't beat you. So they say things that cut. Yeah, they say things yeah. that they know that bothers a man. That's why that nigga never gave you back that money. Shit that they know that you make one thing up your ass and smack them across their face. There's a stories. Don't do it though. Shoot, this is why a lot of stories when you said, let's use that example. That's why they give back your money. And they be like, his ego pop up like, oh, word, shit, yeah. I'm pussy, right? Yeah. And he gonna go grab his gun like, word, oh, I'm gonna another nigga be like, what you fucking that nigga? Yeah. One is gonna go, one is gonna go, one is gonna go. You know how to make a man ego. You know what I'm saying? If that nigga's not in control of his emotions and his mental faculties, that shit will go awkward. If you start off on the right foot being who you are, you're gonna end on the right foot regardless if she think, regardless if your personality and her personality don't add up. The truth is truth. You know what I'm saying? And that you can't, you know what I mean? You just shouldn't disguise the truth. Now, I'm going to be me. If you don't like who I am, that's good. We should get that out from the first time. Because for me, the front to be something I'm not, for on you to, for, 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 to, for, for eventually I'm going to come out, or you going to come out, and then we know the truth, and we ain't going to end anyway. What's the sense of front from day one? Save us a lot of time. Be yourself. I, I, I would say this. You want to be honest? Be yourself a version of it. Like, okay, if you are you, if you're a cool nigga, if you're good, if you're this, you're that, you're third, I was just say cool nigga, not a thug, whatever, because we'd be a whatever kind of cool. If you yourself and you're comfortable with that and you know you're comfortable with women and all that shit, cool. But if you're a fucking geek, or if you're awkward with women, you're socially awkward, you're an introvert, super introverted, introverted, you might want to go in there with some strategies of being yourself, but if you're not talkative, being not talkative, if that's yourself, is not going to work on the first date. Yeah, but then, Hold up, let me go, because I need to talk. Now, I feel, I hear what you're saying. It's not going to work on a fucking first date. It's not. So, if you know you're not talking, first of all, boom. If you tell, if you are, I'm just going with this shit like this. Cause I don't, I'm just saying geek anime. You know how I watch Marvel, I watch cartoons like that. Some people I consider that geek. I was just being a combo. The young Justin. So, but I'm saying this for, like, for example. If you're some geek nigga into anime, right? Number one, you shouldn't be going for no hip hop. Love the hip hop. Fucking party goes that bitch anyway. You're going to go to six level. You should be going for a woman that's in your room, say. in your room anyway. Yeah, if, Hold up. If you don't talk, you ain't gonna meet a bitch that's talking. If you but, meet a bitch that don't talk, but, just but, like you. But but except but you did. But except but yeah, but you didn't have to meet that bitch either. I never met one person that don't talk and one person that don't talk that can to become me. And if it's that, it's very, 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 very slow. Then he ain't gonna meet it's very slow anyway. percentage. Exactly. That's my whole. That, this is my whole that's point. 
if, and that's my whole point. If you, if, if this is a version of yourself, okay, boom. If you like to make nasty jokes, super duper nasty jokes, right? Once again, you gotta know your fucking personnel. You may have to tone it down. It may be funny to some people. They may not be inappropriate on the fucking first date. I like that bitch, that's that bitch, you slot it out using your brain in that capacity. So, my whole thing is that you can be your fucking self. But my thing, my, my thing is being something like that, that's the. But nigga, no. Sometimes you have to tone down yourself, not on the date. You have to tone down a version of yourself when you're at work. You have to tone down a version of yourself when you're in front of your parents. You have to tone, so, it's, it, it, it's not a problem to tone down a version of yourself or. It's like it's just definitely go for sight. Or it's not, it's not a problem to motherfucking go on certain aspects because you may know, but okay, I right, boom. I don't do this this much. I know women like conversation. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be a little more talkative. But I, I already picked out a girl I like anime, so I'm going to talk about things I know to start off. Then you get more comfortable with it and you leave from there. So my advice to you is, whatever is your motherfucking thing that you know that is not satisfactory, try to control that shit a little bit. Be yourself, obviously. You, don't, you can't be like, give me no soft nigga, I don't know what tough nigga. That's just stupid as shit. I mean, not kids. I'm talking for adults. Just tone that shit down. And try to amplify your best part. That's my fucking. That's good. I'm a, I, I agree and I disagree with that. Why? Because check it out. You know what I mean? With, within reality and with itself. My pops is a good example of that. At some point, he done had kids and women, so he had to tone it down to even introduce himself to get them. Who he is is going to turn out to be who he is, and he ain't got nobody. So my thing is this. I, I agree. You're talking about the first date? No, 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 but that's the first date. You gotta get to a daddy guy if you didn't No, no, I agree with that's you. That's a cool, smooth ass, cool, I, listen, talking, listen, fly, handsome nigga. Now listen to me. A lot of examples of that. I understand that. But it, my thing is this, right? It goes back to the first thing we said. If you just self-reflect and know who you are, you won't even be trying to date somebody who ain't gonna understand them nasty jokes. 